so mean. Don't you just love it out here in the woods? The sun shining, the gentle breeze blowing, and everything so quiet and still. I do love it, Sammy, but let's not talk about it. Let's just experience it, okay? A short thing. Yes, good idea. Yes, let's just experience it. Simon, shh. Oh, oops, sorry. I'll, I'll be quiet now. I won't talk anymore. I'll zip it right up so we can enjoy the peaceful quiet. I won't. Simon, please be quiet. Shh. Why don't we lie on the ground on our backs? I do it in my backyard all the time. It helps me connect to the natural world. But aren't we going to get dirty? I have my favorite khakis on. Oh, that's what washing machines are for, Simon. But my clothes are sewed on. They don't just come off like a human's clothes. Oh, no, Simon, let's not worry about something like that. Let's embrace the moment and connect with the earth and nature. And we can just continue sitting on this bench if you like. Now let's tip our heads back. Look up at the sky. Now I can see the clouds moving. Do you see them, Simon? Uh, well, I think so. But I'm getting kind of sleepy leaning back like this. Uh. Well, let's try to make out shapes in the clouds. Do you see that cloud shape like a head of a horse? Oh, goodness. Hey, fell asleep. Well, I'm going to practice mindfulness and tune into the natural world around us. I'll start by taking a deep breath. <sighs> I'm feeling my body connect with nature all around us. I feel my body resting on this bench, and I feel my heart opening in gratitude to all the natural resources and living beings around us. The trees, plants, birds and insects, and the forest creatures like squirrels, raccoons, deers, and... Oh, and hello there, Snake. What a pretty green colour you are, with lovely blue highlights. Thank you for the compliment, human person. I was just looking for a sunny spot and found you and your friends sitting on this bench. And seeing you up close, I'm struck by the notion that we're more alike than dissimilar. Oh, why, that's an interesting statement, Snake. Please, elaborate. Well, we all have two eyes, a nose, and a mouth with a tongue. That we do. I cannot argue with, you, with that. And we are fairly long creatures. Look at my long leg and at your friend with his legs stretched out like that. And we all enjoy being in nature. Well, I have to agree with you again, Snake. So, Eve, may I ask what you and Simon are doing here, besides sitting? We are trying to practice mindfulness. Really? That's fascinating. May I ask, how do you practice mindfulness? Well, I just sit here and pay attention to what's happening. Hmm, I do that. What else do you do to practice mindfulness? I tune into my senses. I see the trees and flowers and you, and I feel the sun on my skin and the breeze on my face. I hear the bird song and I smell the vegetation. Well, I do all those things too. But I wouldn't call that being mindful. That's just being alive. That's what I do naturally. I'm curious, why do you have to practice being alive? Doesn't it come natural for you too? Oh, not really. Just being alive is not natural for most humans because our thoughts never stop and sometimes are very distracting. Okay. I have many questions. What are thoughts? Why don't they stop? And why are they so distracting? 
thoughts are these ideas, impulses, concepts, ruminations and fears that arise in my mind. You see, our human brains never seem to stop having thoughts. Thoughts can be about the past, like conversations with people, events, experiences, as well as future plans. Worries, fears, they create a lot of drama for me and everyone else. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. No wonder they distract you from being. I don't have anything like that going on. I just live my life, you know, eat some insects, find a sunny spot to rest, do my chores, go exploring, overeat once in a while. Sometimes I sleep in and basically just live my life being a snake. You know, snake. You're a pretty mindful creature. I think I could learn a lot from you. You could? I sure could. You pay attention. I do. On purpose? I guess so, yes. In the present moment? Um, I guess I do. I don't know what the past or the future even are. Without judgment. What's judgment? Exactly. That's my point. You don't judge. You accept. You don't think. You just be. I'm going to try to be like you. Excellent. When Simon wakes up, why don't we all go slither around together and find some bugs to eat? Then we can slip into the mud for a nice bath. And after you can visit my wonderful, cool, damp, dark home under that rock, over there. Um, uh, uh, I'll second thought, maybe I'll just try to be mindful here on this bench. Of course, I understand. I hope to see you around here again. Yes, hope to see you again, Snake. Uh, uh, that was refreshing. How long was I out for? Did I miss anything? You only slept for a few minutes, Simon, and well, you did miss a very friendly visitor, a lovely green mindful snake. Oh, Eve, I just love your imagination and storytelling ability. So tell me, what did this mindful snake have to say? Well, actually, quite a bit, actually. Oh, let me tell you all about it. He does not seem to be bothered by thoughts. Eve, maybe we should eat first. We did bring a nice lunch, didn't we? Okay, we can eat, but instead of wolfing down our food, let's eat it mindfully. Um, did you just imply that wolves eat fast? How do you know that, Eve? And do they really eat faster than other animals? Well, it's a common expression, although I don't know if, if it's fact or hearsay, but all I meant to say is let's slow down our eating so that we can enjoy it more. Okay. But why will slowing down our eating help us enjoy it more? Let's try it and maybe it will become clear. Okay, let's start with one great eat. Let's put it in our mouth. Then roll it around a little, but don't bite it. Okay. Mm. It feels really big and smooth and it really doesn't taste like anything. Oh, you're right. It's kind of mm, tasteless. It does mm, feel big and oval, and it's making my mouth water, wondering what it will taste like. I want to bite into it. Is it too soon? You certainly can be impatient, Simon. There's quite a few moments longer. Let's think about the sun and rain and soil that help the grapes grow, and farmers who tended to them, and the workers who pick them, and the ones who stored them, loading them on vehicles and transporting them all the way to us. Hmm. I never thought of food that way before. Then I guess also the people in the grocery store who unloaded their trucks and put them in the shelves and worked at the registers even. Yes, perfect, Simon. Now let's bite into the grape. Now what do you notice? Mm -hmm. Oh, the sweetness, I guess, and all the juice inside. That was fun. Can we uh, try something else? Sure, let's try a raisin. That's a dried up grape, you know. Here, let's it. Let's let it rest on our tongue. What do you notice? 
Hmm. Well, it is wrinkly, much smaller, and it has more flavor than the grape did before we bit into it. And I noticed my mouth is watering more, probably because of all the flavor, right? Yes, I think so, Sonny. You know, the longer I hold this raisin in my mouth, the more I realize how quickly I normally eat my food. Sometimes I eat food so fast, I don't even taste it. Sometimes I even eat standing up, or I bring it with me to eat in my car. Me too. I'm going to try to eat slower from now on. Okay, Eve, can we chew it up and swallow it now? I'm getting hungry for our real meal, those sandwiches we brought. Oh, yes, of course. Let's finish the raisins and we'll eat our lunch. But let's try to stay mindful while we're eating, okay? Yep, that sounds good, Eve. My stomach is going to be very happy now.